this video, I want to quickly go over the color reference functionality in the object layer panels in 3D Coat, as well as the paint layer panel. So let me go to the Retopo workspace and start here. What I have is a group of meshes from the left side, the interior, and then the right side. And I want to color code those based on those groups. And that will make it easier for me to quickly focus in on the exact part that I want to select or work on. I've already set a color for the left side and a color for the interior. But now I want to finish setting color for the right side. To set the color, I want to right click when I see that little move icon on the right hand side of the layer. And then I'll see this option to set color reference. Now, right now I have the image picker and I could pick a color from here if I so choose, but uh, I can also just pick from any one of these other color palettes. Okay, so I want to make that red, like a bright red to match the other one that I've already created. And I'll hit OK. And yeah, this last one, I'll right click and do the same. If I want to remove them at any point, I can right click and choose remove the reference color. This also applies in the sculpt workspace and it will also apply it to a subtree. So for example, uh, I have a parent layer here and a child. And let's try it with this one. I can come over to the right hand side. When I see the move icon, I can right click and choose reference color. And you'll notice that I have a few more options than I had in the Retopo workspace. So the options are to apply it to just the object that's on the parent layer and nothing else. Or the second option allows me to apply color to the entire subtree here. So the parent and all the children assigned to it. Let's do that. Um, I will choose uh, teal color or light blue. Also have the option to remove the reference color likewise to just the parent object or to the parent and the children. Okay, but in this case, I'll choose just the second option and hit OK. And you'll notice how it applied it to the entire subtree. And that's what we want. Okay. Likewise, here in the uh, paint workspace, you can see that I've already color coded some of these and it works exactly the same way. So let's take this one, right click and choose set color reference. Uh, we can make this a bright green. Okay. So yeah, that's a quick look at using the color reference in 3D Coats user interface. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.